is up. So, we are now going to battle our rival James. This is how the first episode this is how this episode has to start because it's how the episode ended. I completely forgot that you have to battle. So, we're going to battle rival James. And it's weird how your rivals never nickname your their Pokemon. Like they should be able to, right? Like they should nickname their Pokemon. I know not everyone does. Like Ash in the show never nicknames his Pokemon. But like, what was that kid's name who had the um, other Pikachu? But the Pikachu had like a different kind of like hair on its head or fur, I could say. And he had the nick and he nicknamed his Pikachu Sparky. But, like, his Charmander was Zippo or something like that. I can't remember his name. But, like, he nicknamed all of his Pokemon. So I think it would be cool to have, like, a randomizer or something in, in Pokemon games. Where it'll be, like, nickname, yes or no. And then it picks yes or no, so 50-50. And if it picks yes then, like, there's a huge list of nicknames um, pertaining to maybe its type or just um, names or stuff like that. I think that'd be very cool. And we're facing Croconaw. I'm like, Croconaw, please tell me that's the evolved form of Totodile. And it was because I put JJ out there. I'm, I was hoping so much, and I was right. I'm like, yay. Now, here's where I was a little worried that JJ might get knocked out before taking out um, Croconaw, but then Croconaw uses Scary Face. I'm elated, and I knock out Croconaw. <coughs> ah. So now JJ is level 16. And gets so close to 17. So now Zubat. So I'm like, okay. Smart decision. Keep in JJ, right? So a couple electric type moves and it's done. Simple as that. So Thundershock. And Supersonic. Well, that's not too bad, right? I mean, it's... You know, it just depends on if I hurt myself in confusion, which I did. JJ hurt himself in confusion. Then there's bite, and he flinched. Then there's another bite, and I have JJ has four HP left. And guess what? He hurts himself in confusion, so he faints. So I'm like, you know what? Forget this. Most powerful Pokemon I have, go. And I'm like, you know what? Let's try a flame wheel. New move, try it out. And I like the results. So now, Sammy's in confusion, so I'm like, oh no. Just quick attack it. Just use quick attack, please, and it does, and quick attack knocks out Zubat. So that is all Rival James has. You only won because, because I'm better than you, that's why. At least I got my Pokemon from the Professor legitimately. Burn. And Youngster Joey calls, I'm thinking, oh yay, he wants to battle with me. Then I can get like a Carbos Calcium, um, Iron, Protein, stuff like that, and no. Just useless information. Now, I have to go heal again. Alright, so with the healing done, now we're going to go on that new route. Maybe catch a Pokemon. <clears throat> if I find anything I want. 
So we're going to go this way. No tall grass. No tall grass. There's this kid here. I'm like, oh, we got to face him. All right, all right, all right. Please have a Pokemon that Pikachu is super effective against. Like maybe a bug type or something. And we don't battle him. In fact, we help him out. He wants us to find some fair fetch for him. There's one right there. So you step on the sticks and it makes a sound which attracts this um, sight of fair fetched. So I'm like, okay, okay. Oh, I see what we do now. Sneaky, sneaky, swiggity, swiggity, coming for that booty. And gotcha. That's one down. Now, just one to go. And apparently, there's no tall grass, but you can still run into Pokemon. Which is dumb. So just for experience, try to level up. I battle it. Now, I know this one's not gonna make it, you know, Pikachu level up, but do a few of them and eventually, yeah. And that was a bummer. That that happened right there. I, I started looking up, at, looking up at my fish and my phone orientation switched, which means the recording switched, but now everything's okay. I was like, oh God, please let it not be weird for the rest of the video. And thank God it's not, it's normal. And we found a revive, which is helpful. Unless you're doing a Nuzlocke, but I'm not. So now this is where it gets a little complicated. And again, it's like, really? Children are supposed to be, you know, they're supposed to be able to do this? So then I'm like, okay, I'm supposed to make it run away, right? I'm like, uh, let's see. Now if I go this way, nope. All right, now let's see if I go this way and I run into another Pokemon. It's a Metapod. Which I'm not in the interest of uh, doing another Abushki versus a Pokemon that can't move but can only use Harden battle. Not in the mood for one of those, so we just keep Pikachu in there. And I'll probably do like off camera leveling up on Abushki, but. And again, we chase that thing down. It runs away, which is the idea. I'm like, uh. Yep, chase her down. Alright, so let's see if we can do it now. It's, I'm like, oh, I see what to do here. Yep. I figured it out. And it's like, children are supposed to be able to do this. How? I don't think I would have been able to do this at 8 or 10 years old. You know? It's like, I'm like, you know, kids aren't really used to complicated puzzles at that age. <laughs> When I was, I don't know, 13, I put together like a 300 piece puzzle, but it took me literally like, I, it was either anywhere between five and eight hours. It took me a long time. I'm like, yep, swiggity swiggity, coming for that booty, gotcha. And we give them both fair fetch. So I'm like, wait, do you give me cut? No, the kid does not give me cut. But, this old guy right here, who's this kid's boss, but I also think it's his father, uh, he gives you HMO1, which is cut. And HMs are dumb, in my opinion. So I'm like, okay, now what Pokemon can I use that can you, like, who do I give cut to? I need a throwaway Pokemon, but not necessarily throwaway, but a Pokemon that I can give a bunch of HMs to. And it'll be my, it'll just be my HM Pokemon, it'll be, um, 
on my team for pretty much the entire um, length of the walkthrough. But, at, you know, once I get to, like, the Elite Four, I'm going to need a different Pokemon. Because then it's not going to, like, know any good moves. So it's like, okay. And there's some useful HMs, like Fly, Surf. Those are the ones I like. I'm not a huge fan of Cut or Rock Smash or Strength or um, Waterfall. Like, some of those are just dumb, but some are actually, so I'm like, okay, let's try Rattata. That could probably use Cut, right? So, go, Pikachu. The, uh, so, just get it down low, get it into the orange, and, you know, throw a Pokeball at it, and it'll probably work, because it's only level 6. And one of the worst times for a critical hit to happen. Alright, so let me go get the apricorns, apricorns. I'm not really sure how it's pronounced. I pronounce them both ways. The little sound when the apricorn comes out of the tree. Let me know how that's pronounced. Is it apricorn or apricorn? Like, just comment ape. If it's apricorn, but comment app if it's apricorn. So A P E for ape, A P P for app. Because that's you know kind of how you spell the words ape and app, but that'll teach me how to pronounce the beginning of the word. And hopip, I'm like I don't know if hopip can use cut. Don't know if it can. Don't think it can. I'm like, don't you need, like, claws to learn cut? Because you actually have to cut. Now, Pikachu is now level 16. So, we're going to keep walking around. It's just, where's Rattata? Where's Rattata? But I'm like, well then, I'm just going to need a Pokemon that can use Strength and Rock Smash as well. Rattata is not going to be able to use maybe Rock Smash, but not Strength. I don't even know if Eradicate could use it. So then that puts me in predicament. It's okay, now what? If Eradicate, you know, can't use Strength, then what would be the point? Because then I would need, like, two HM Pokemon. Now I get the idea. Well, maybe a Geodude. But I'm like, well, can Geodude use Cut? I know it would be able to use Rock Smash and Strength, but... Maybe not cut. So the idea, a sand slash, or no sand true, which would evolve into sand slash, but sand true, right? Here it is. Second Pokemon I ran into. So like didn't really have to edit it, but you know whatever. So just use tackle. Please don't have a critical hit, which it does not, and it. And Sancho could even survive another one. So Sancho has claws. You can see it right there on his little arms. And I'm like, it'd be able to use Rock Smash probably and Strength. I'm like, Sancho, legit Pokemon. It's not affected by electric type moves. I'm like, Sancho's a good choice. Now that's low, throw the Pokeball and let's get her done. So you have one shake, you have two shakes, you have three shakes, and you have caught it. Alright, so now it's, what do we nickname it? I don't want to give it one of my good nicknames if I'm not going to use it for anything but the HMs. So then, I thought, well, maybe we could nickname it Useless. But I'm like, well, it's not actually useless, because it has a use, HMs. All right? So now, here's what you do. Or here's what I did, at least. 
So go over to H, not I, H, M, and now I'm like, wait, what's space? What's the space button? And then it's actually, believe it or not, it's actually going to an empty space and hitting that. I just went to the space right after Z and hit it. And I'm like, oh, works, cool. P, now I go lowercase. O, K. At this point, I'm like, oh, God, I hope it fits. M, O, N, just fits. H.M. Pokemon. That is what I named him. Or her. I, I didn't see what it was. So, now, that is H.M. Pokemon. I'm going to teach it cut. And she is able to. Okay. She's able to learn cut. Because Sammy was the only other Pokemon that could. And I don't want to give him cut. So now that we have that, we can go over and actually use cut. And that is where I'm going to end the episode. See? Look how cool that looks. So I'm going to end the episode here. Comment any names as I heal. Comment any names, um, Pokemon I should get. Um, and by names, I mean nicknames. Um, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will talk to you guys soon. Later.